Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikhail Botvinnik and Harry Golombek. This game was played in Moscow in 1956. Botvinnik had white pieces and he started with c4, English opening. Golombek played knight to f6, knight to f3, c5, g3, g6, b3, bishop to g7, bishop to b2. Golombek castled kingside, bishop to g2, knight to c6, Botvinnik castled kingside too, and Golombek played b6. What is this opening called? It's called symmetrical English, double fianchetto. d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, Bishop to b7, knight to c3, Golombek played queen to c8, knight to c2, d6, e4, knight to d7, queen to d2, connecting rooks, knight to c5, f4, knight to e6, rook from a to d1, and Golombek played Knight from e to d4. Black has less space on the board, so he wants to exchange some pieces. Knight takes knight. Knight takes knight. It is white to move. What would you do? Botnik played knight to d5, threatening knight takes pawn on e7. How should black continue? How would you continue if he had black pieces now? The best move is knight to c6, defending the pawn. Well, Golombek didn't like this knight. So, he decided to take the knight. Not the best move. You'll see shortly why. C takes on d5. And now knight is attacked by two pieces. Knight to b5. Bishop takes on g7. King takes bishop. It is white to move. White play the move when black resigned, believe it or not. What is the move? Can you guess what Phoenix's next move? Rook to c1. Golombek resigned the new of this continuation. He must move the queen, so after queen to d7, a4. This is the only square for the knight. Now queen to c3 check fork in the king and the knight, and after king to g8, queen takes knight, and white is a piece up. Interesting, isn't it? Botvinnik was very precise, wasn't he? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.